Hurricane hunters are used to flying into the eye of the storm, but there's a new one surrounding them and it's not tropical, it's political. Our worst scenario, as the number of storms increases, our uh, problems uh, multiply. On March 1st, the federal government made $85 billion in across-the-board budget cuts, a result of Congress's inability to decide on a plan to reduce the deficit. The so-called sequester required NOAA to cut its budget by 7 percent. And amid up to 2,600 mandatory furloughs, hurricane hunters are among the many facing tough choices. Uh, two storms we can do for uh, days, not weeks, and the three-storm scenario, we, we just can't do. We don't have uh, the crews uh, because uh, of the furlough and the sequestrations. Hurricane hunters gather storm data that feeds forecasters at the National Hurricane Center, the agency that issues watches and warnings. But the president of the American Meteorological Society fears a lack of data is just one small piece of a larger looming issue. I can't speak to the particular challenges that uh, our, our colleagues face in determining which missions to fly, but I will say that I am concerned that we are essentially running on our spare tires right now in terms of our weather satellites, and I am concerned that there is a potential gap looming. The cuts could also delay the launch of next generation satellites, potentially diminishing advances in hurricane and severe weather forecasting. Uh, sequestration makes no sense. It never should have been approved. And what we really need to do is have a federal budget so that these weather satellites and the people at the National Weather Service can do their jobs and keep us safe. Senator Brian Schatz of Hawaii believes cutting funds from NOAA compromises public security. We need bipartisan understanding that when it comes to preparing for severe weather, uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, everybody needs to be prepared and needs to be safe. We reached out to 19 congressmen and senators who voted in favor of the cuts. However, at this point, we haven't received a statement or interview. It's unclear how long the sequester will last, though in an unlikely scenario, it could stretch nine years. All in an era where extreme weather is on the rise. I'm meteorologist Julie Martin, The Weather Channel.